world did I make this beautiful flower? Oh my goodness. It's so cute. I made a beautiful flower and another one. <gasps> beautiful flowers for cards. If you want to know how we did it, you're going to have to watch the video. Well, hello. You're back. And so am I. I don't know about you, but I hate wasting things. Hate. Like, with a capital H. I don't like wasting paper. I don't like wasting things. So I thought, since we made these little swatchy swatchies, why not try something I have thought about By the way, these are Tim Holtz tonic scissors. They're fantastic. 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 So, the last two videos, we made these little swatches, and then before that, we made flowers, and we made that little flower, which will definitely be used. I'm not going to even worry about that flower right now because it's just too cute not to use. And then, uh, the first, this is watercolor, Canson watercolor graduate paper, and this is Canson graduate media multimedia paper. And I just thought we need to use these really quick. And if I'm gonna do it, why not videotape it? Why not make it into a little video? Because what if it turns out to be something really good, and then I have to try to recreate it? <sighs> so. I don't want to recreate anything. I want to do it the first time. This is why when you see my videos, it's very, very little of a, a stretch from what I actually did. I don't do a lot of editing. I really don't do any editing. I talk it through. We walk it through. We're learning together. This is my way. This is the way I like to do things. This is the way I learn. If you don't like this, I'm really, really sorry. I appreciate your time. So what I'm going to do is a surprise. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to talk to you for a minute. You may not like that. I'm sorry. But these three videos are going together, hand in hand, because they're all from the same piece of paper. The same two pieces of paper. So... If you haven't figured out what I'm doing yet, then it's going to be a surprise for you. You're going to be like, what is that crazy girl doing? So, I'm going to cut these out. And I'll be right back. And just like magic, I'm back. And everything is cut out. How cool is that? Oh, I missed one. Oh no, I missed one. So I have the little scissors and the big scissors from Tonic Studios. They're good. They're fantastic. But I have a lot of scissors and huh, a lot of scissors work like a lot of scissors work. They cut. So, but these are really good scissors. They don't hurt your hands because it's like got a, a nice grip on it. So, and they got that nice case and a nice point. So, yeah. The bigger ones and the little ones. And I really like them. Anywho. So, what I was thinking of is we made these pretty little flowers. Cute, cute, cute. I made these on my own. Cute, cute, cute. So, I was just thinking about these little pieces that are left over and I thought wouldn't they make cute petals for a flower and possibly leaves so I thought maybe we would try that and see what it looks like who knows maybe it'll be a whole new thing we got big petals we got little petals we got blue petals we got pink petals I think that was okay let me scoot all these guys over so I have long petals and I have these little tiny petals. Um, these I made earlier today, just playing around. So it's like two different types of flower. Some of the long petals, some of the not so long petals. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Who knows? 
Maybe it won't work at all. Maybe you'll never see this video. Who knows? I am going to cut this off because I don't like it. It's not doing me any good. These are cool scissors. I really like these. I'll have to ask my mother where she got them because she got them for me. I think she's gotten some for herself as well. I really like them. These are the best. Those are fantastic little scissors. They have a nice weight to them. Um, they do. They are sharp. Sharp, sharp, sharp. And quiet. I like that. I like the quietness of them. Okay. So I was thinking if we take these and make a little flower, wouldn't that be cute? Let's go pink, red, blue, pink, red, blue. Or pink, blue, pink, blue. And then I think that would be really, really cute. I may have to move them around a bit. That's okay. That's not a problem. And then another little pink one in between. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, cute. I like it. And then we'll figure out how to go from there. I like that. And with a petal. Ha ha. I think that's cute. Okay. And then this one may not may not work correctly on this paper. But look at this. Cuteness. We got going on over here. And petals on leaves on flowers are not all always exactly the same. And so wouldn't that be adorable? Adorable, man. Adorable. Okay, I want to get some glue and I'll be right back. Okay, so you know me. I love my tacky glue. Normal old, everyday tacky glue. I'm going to kind of hold this and just make some not completely right in the center. Because I want it to be off center a little bit because I think that looks better. But I'm just going to just making sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Put some glue dots around in a circle. That will guide me and help me to get this in a good spot. Oop. Hmm. Maybe I'll put this one down at the bottom. Smaller ones on the top. Doesn't really matter because they can uh we can overlap each other. What do you think, people? Tell me. I want to know. Prying minds want to know. I want to know. What do you think? Okay, now we got those there. And I like their positioning. I like this. This is a good thing. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay, it doesn't need much more than that, I don't think. I'm going to get one of my handy dandy little ricey thingies, and then we'll go on to this one real quick. But isn't this a cute little idea? I like this little idea. I really do. Oh, good grief. Okay, this one I'm going to go up and to the side a little bit. We're going to make this a nice circle of glue because why not what are we going to do with a bunch of pieces of swatch anyway if you're not going to use them to keep your colors situated then what are you going to do with it you're not okay I think I like it that no I don't know okay we're going to start off with that one and then yeah this one and then this one and then uh, this one. You like my commentary? <laughs> I know. Silly, silly, silly. Some people just can't help the silliness, you know? I got a new matte cutting board thingy here. And it is... It is good. But it's very catchy. And it catches everything. So it's like it can't... I can't get it to work with me, so it's hard to grab the paper off of it. 
if you know what I mean. If you get my drift, if you if you if you're picking up what I'm laying down, ha ha ha. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm all about using stuff up. I have this piece of a paper towel with all this yellow on it. I'm thinking we're gonna make something for the center with all of this. I like this idea. Just ripping it a little bit. I always say I'm going to use this stuff up. Well, let's do it. Let's make something. Let's take it and squish it around and make a center. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, I really, really like it. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, let's give this a little squish for a second and make this one have something. I really like this idea. I'm gonna give a little bit, a little bit of glue underneath all these, just to, just to anchor them down a little extra. You know what I mean? But nobody can't do this. You guys can do this. Anybody can do this. If I can do this, then if I can do this, then anybody can do this. You know? Come on. Make something. Share it with me. Send me a little link to something that you did. I would love to see it. This is a big flower, so I'm going to give it a big center. Oh my goodness, that is the cutest little idea. And it just came to me because I opened up the drawer and I saw it. <laughs> I call that a God moment. He's like, hey, you're always thinking you're going to use this one. Don't you dare think that he doesn't think that either, because he does. He cares about anything you care about. I care about this, so he cares about this. And I love that. Makes me happy. Okay, so both of these are going to have to dry a little bit, but we still have, still have petals, or no, leaves. So I'm going to get a, hold on. Okay. So, I found my Arteza acrylic marker, forest green. These are pretty awesome. Let's see. Let's give it a little tester. Make sure it's working good. Okay. I was trying to find something dark enough to go on this one to give me a stem. Oh, that's cute. Okay, that is cute. Perfect, perfect. Let's move this up a little bit just so I can get in there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that's good for that one. And I was thinking our uh, little, on my recording, I am. I was thinking this one, maybe we could try um, Distressed Watercolor Pencils by, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. That was loud. By Tim Holtz. <laughs> that scared me. And I did it. So let's try this just to see. I like my flowers to have a little zhuzh. A little attitude. Something, something. Thinking. Get this crayon right up under here. And give it a little bit of a... If you're not aware of these... These are awesome. Um, they're supposed to be just pigment. Straight up pigment. But they're really good. You can you can color with them. You can sketch with them. You can do whatever you want to. You can even watercolor with them. They're pretty awesome. Um, okay. And we have our leaves. Which <laughs> don't go with the stems. At all. What? Who's to say they have to? Right? Who's to say they have to? They don't have to go with the... This one can go. Right. I like it. 
I like it, I like it, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. A lot, a lot, a lot. I like it. It's cute. It's whimsical. It's silly. It's fun. I like it. I like it. I really, really like it. Have I said I like it? <laughs> well, I do. So let's try a little bit of uh, gold. I'll shake it off the camera because it's loud. And who doesn't want, who wants to hear all that shaking? Okay, let's give it a little zhuzh. Yeah, yeah. I like that too. I thought so. You're going to have to have a little something something going on. Yeah. Fancy. Fancy dancy. Okay. Let's glue these little guys down and we are done. Doop doop. Oh, my glue is. My glue is being sassy. And I had another idea. Since our petals, our leaves, don't really go with our stem, I thought maybe we'd give them a little bit more of something. Each of them can have their own little ness that makes them more of a part of this. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't know what I mean. But I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, we get our little... It's called peeled paint. I don't know why. It's green. But somebody decided to call it that. But we can give it a little bit of... Just so... You know, leaves are different colors. They're not always the same. And that way they just kind of, kind of zhuzh together a little bit. You know, just a tad. And then this one really doesn't matter because, you know, it's just, it's right there. But we can give each one of them a little bit of a... Now look at that. Isn't that cute? So in one morning, we painted some little flowers, which will be used on cards or something. These are the little five petal flowers we made with just the water and adding the color into it, or just the dots and adding the water to it. Same thing over here. Water, color, dots, and water. So it's super easy. So I will link that video with this one. And then we made our little swatches, which are now gone because, um, just to test out the ink tense pencils, iron blue we didn't even use, but um, the ink tense pencils, which is this colors on the two different papers, which is Canson Graduate Watercolor and Canson Graduate, these are the watercolor, these are the, uh -oh. we have them both. So we have the watercolors are the ones with the lots of ripples in them. And then the regular paper is the Canson Graduate Mixed Media. And um, they were $5 a pack. So, I mean, anybody who wants to play around can do this. And the middle is made out of an old napkin. Literally, an old napkin paper towel that I had a lot of yellow ink probably I would assume it's yellow ink and I made the insides and how cute is that how stinking cute is that it's like absolutely stinking adorable and if you really need to you can get a little bit of extra glue on the side I don't know if you can see that but I just put some glue over there I don't think it's necessary to see every little thing. But, um, yeah, we can give it a little glue in a couple places to hold it in. But look at how cute this is. 
You can do this. Anybody can do this. I want to see it. I'm just waiting for the first person who is like so bold as to take my idea and say, I'm going to try that. And then I'm going to post a picture to hashtag the painting turtle and show Danielle what I did because she's going to be so excited. And yes, I would. I'll be very, very excited. But look at this. This is actually the top part of a very beautiful mat. I ripped the top off. You know I do that. But look at that. That could be a very adorable card. You could cut it down a little bit if you wanted to. Or you could make it into a very fancy big card. This is just a piece of pink, um, pink thin cardstock. I think it came from Michael's. I shopped there quite often, so I'm assuming it probably could have been. But look at that! We have two card bases right away, and we're done. So, yeah, I think I may cut this off a little bit like underneath these, because I think that might be cute, having it like fall off the page a bit. Kind of like this one, falling off the page. Yeah, but other than that, I think this is really cute. And I think you can do this. So, I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you have a great day. I hope it, that the world is good to you today. And I hope somebody smiles at you and you smile at somebody. You know, smiling at somebody. It just makes people wonder what you're up to. So, give somebody a smile. They're free. So, I'm going to leave you with that. Um, much love and peace to you all. Have a great day. Do something good for somebody. God bless you. And until I see you again, bye.